Hello viewers, I am Dr. Alpa Atul Purabhya from CSRI Hospital Jubilee Hills. Today I will be talking about the refractive error. Let us first understand how normal eye functions before we go into that. Normal eyeball is like a sphere like a structure which has a different structure. The outermost layer is called cornea which actually appears black, brown, green, blue but it is actually transparent crystal clear and it has a power. Behind there is a structure called iris which has a color because of that eyeball has a color. And behind there is a lens which also has a power which also ideally should be clear and there is a cavity. So when you look at the whole eyeball in the cross section, the eyeball is divided into anterior segment and posterior segment. The anterior segment also uh, in, from the center of the pupil when the rays pass, the anterior segment also should be cleared. So generally it is filled with the uh, aqueous humor solution which is also clear and behind the lens this is known as the posterior segment which is filled with the jelly like substance called vitreous and that also is clear which allows rays to pass. So when the rays enter into the brass, uh, enter into the eye with the help of the cornea and lens they will get focused at the back part of the eye which is known as retina and from this retina these images are or the information are carried through this optic nerve to the brain. The brain will process the information and then we will be able to see the uh, view or we will be having a vision. So whenever there is a mismatch between the cornea power or the length of the eyeball or the lens is not clear, we will be having a problem in the vision. So depending on the where the light rays are getting focus, the refractive errors have a different types. The first type is we call it myopia or in a, a normal language we call it short sightedness. What happens in myopia? When the light rays enter in the eyes, uh, they will not be focused over the retina but instead of that they will be focused in front of the retina and because of that patient will be having a good near vision but distant vision will be blurred. So to focus rays on the retina, uh, we have to put concave glass in front of the eyes or minus power in front of the eyes and with the, with the help of that lens, patient will be able to see image very clearly. Patient can also use the contact lens if they don't want to wear glasses. Nowadays for kids we are using ortho -K lenses also and when you become adult like after 21 years of the age you have option of getting laser refractive surgery done or LASIK surgery done. The second type of the refractive error is known as hypermetropia or farsightedness. What happens in this? When the rays, light rays enter in the eyes, they will be focused behind the retina because eyeball is a little bit shorter or the cornea has a flat power or the smaller power. So to focus them on the retina and because of that patient will be having a blurred uh, distant vision and to focus them on the retina, we have to put a convex glass in front of the eyes. With the help of the convex glass, now the rays will be focused on the retina and patient can see very clearly. So hypermetropia is also corrected by glasses, which is plus power or convex glasses, or patient can have an option of wearing the contact lens. And when they become adult, they have an option of getting the laser surgery done. Uh, we call it laser refractive surgery. The third refractive error is we call it astigmatism. So generally what happens when you see the, the cornea, cornea is generally kind of sphere shaped. But some people can have a kind of egg shaped eyeball, a regular shape of eyeball where one meridian is more curved than the other meridian. And that is when patient will be having an extra power at one particular degree. The meridian which is uh, have a which have a different curve, that meridian patients will be having a power. So generally this power will be mentioned uh, in a degree. It can be plus power also means hypermetropia also or it can be minus power also myopia also. And this all error is also getting corrected by the laser, uh, by the glasses and when you become adult you can go for the laser refractive surgery. Fourth error is press biopia where with normal age the lens starts becoming weak. Basically lens has one function we call it accommodation where actually it helps us to see near object very clearly either with the glass or without glass. With age this ability to focus at the near object decreases 
that is known as presbyopia it is basically the accommodation function is slowly decreasing and because of that patient generally requires reading glasses this is a normal age change and everybody gets it after the age of 40 and this error generally is corrected by glasses or some people wear bifocal contact lens also and there is an option of laser surgery also when your natural lens starts becoming white that is when you have option of getting rid of these reading glasses also uh, if you have any doubt about this you can reach me anytime thank you